into a food truck and a camper van. So ultimately I'll be selling food out of the back, making food, and ultimately being able to sleep in here. Um, so it's kind of a camper van slash food. So right now, and let me talk about what I'm going to do. So first things first, pull off any paneling, check out what wiring's back there. You don't want to be, you know, messing up any of your wires to your truck. And also, ultimately, you may have some nice holes that you can use. So my goal here is I want to put a bed here um, so I can stretch. Now my problem is I'm long, so that's why I have to take off this. Now you're asking why am I using this side and not the passenger side? Well, because this door is broken. So unless I can fix this door, and if I can fix this door, then ultimately I can use this side. Um, but I don't think I can. So I'm, I'm taking from the assumption that I can't. Um, these are nice because these can become now kind of uh, models to trace around wood and I've got the spacing of the holes and I can replace these panels with actually some nice wood that then I can add more support. So this is a support beam. It's got to hold a bed so I'm actually going to cut into here, um, cut this out and put this in. Um, and just as I did above, I'm going to tap in the bed um, into it and it's going to use this is a uh, is basically uh, pressure the other thing is I'm going to use some more beams like one here one here right to ultimately support the bed one over there one up against there so that it can take my weight because I'm a, a big guy now you're wondering why did I cut the top of my Headrest, well, I've got to remove my headrest. Now, there's obviously, if I get hit in the rear, I'm going to get some nasty whiplash because I don't have it. Um, but maybe what I can do is cut this, cut this here um, so the board will sit on top of this and then maybe get this to go back into it, right, with some, some uh, rebar that's going to go up into here and down into there and I can just basically pull this off with the rebar in it who knows um, so I can still have this set up um, or I'm just gonna deal without it but I need to have this because I'm gonna have to have the board sitting into here probably coming up into here um, and using this as a support. Now the other thing too is I'm keeping this because again this will come up so when I sleep on it I've got this as a, as a center support so to take some of the weight. Um, so that's my thinking so far and then ultimately the idea is is there could be another sleeping area or storage area underneath this is all going to be storage and then here across here and to here um, will be a table, okay? Probably a smaller table that comes out to here. I got to see once I finish this bed how much space I have. And probably I'll just sit right into here will be my area for sitting and cooking. And having this area up here becomes a natural umbrella for it. So imagine you come up here. I've got a table here, right across here, and there's a table there, um, and I keep all the stuff for the okonomiyaki underneath, like on the side here and under here, I put it all up here, and I can actually cook, I can have a hot plate, HI plate in here, keep the battery pack under here, maybe, um, have the trans, the resistor, transformer, whatever, in there, um, so I've got to get the kind of the the space that I'm using for operations up. So that's what I'm working on. 
basically I want my little van to double as a little micro camper because I'm going to be fixing up found up houses and when I go to a house I have no place to live, no place to cook um, there's actually a portalette maybe the toilet <laughs> will go into here I gotta figure out where that's gonna go if that's gonna go anywhere maybe I do have to move this out uh, so here is the shelving, the bed, all the different components, and some rods that I'm going to be playing around with to set up the inside of this truck. So this is the Lego pieces right here. On a side note, this one um, solar panel just doesn't provide the juice necessary to power this pump <laughs> so I wonder if I hook it up to these um, the little battery back here whether it will 